let's discuss the intermediate value theorem for this we will begin by considering two points point a and point b on the xy plane so let's join point a and b with the help of a very smooth graph so here this curve is the function f of x so here f of x being a smooth function so we say f of x is continuous on the interval a b where this is the point x equals to a and this is x equals to b so within the interval a and b f of x is a continuous function next we have f calculated at x equals to a is not equals to the value of the function at x equals to b then the intermediate value theorem tells us that there exists at least one c the c is going to lie between a and b such that f of c is equals to m so that means let's say this point corresponds to c so here c lies between a and b for this particular value of x equals to c we have a value so the point corresponding to a so this will be f of a and this will be f of b so the intermediate value theorem is saying that a continuous function given by f of x is going to take all the values between f of a and f of b so that means any point or in our case we have considered the point m so if we draw a straight line it is going to hit the curve at at least one point that is all we are seeing so it could be at more than one as well so let's say if we consider the value m2 then the straight line it's a horizontal line this is going to intersect the curve at three points so the intermediate value theorem it is merely an existence theorem it means that given the interval a and b there is going to be some value c for which we will have f of c so it only says that there is going to be some solution that exists for any values of x on the interval a and b but it cannot say what's the value of that particular solution so let's understand this with the help of an example so in this particular problem we have to check whether if there is any solution for this given polynomial equation so let's begin by considering the polynomial function x raised to the power of 5 minus 2x cubed minus 2 now we'll be applying the boundary conditions so we have the interval 0 to 2 so at x equals to 0 f of 0 will be equals to negative 2 and at x equals to 2 f of 2 will be equals to so we have 2 raised to the power of 5 minus 2 times 2 cubed which is 8 minus 2 so this gives us the value 14 so this means at x equals to 0 f of 0 is negative that is the curve lies below y equals to 0 and at x equals to 2 we have f of 2 which is 14 is a positive number that means the curve lies above y equals to 0 so this simply means that according to the initial value theorem the curve given by this polynomial function must cross through y is equals to so thus there is a solution to x raised to the power of 5 minus 2x cubed minus 2 equals to 0 in the interval 0 comma 2 so we need to apply the initial value theorem to the function given by x cubed minus 2 on this interval 0 to 3 so let's first check this particular function f of x equals to x cubed minus 2 so this is a polynomial function and since it is a polynomial function it is continuous on the interval 0 to 3 next we calculate the value of the function at the boundary point so that means at x equals to 0 f of x which is f calculated at x equals to 0 so this is 0 cubed 
minus 2. So this is giving us the value negative 2. And at x equals to 3, so we have f of 3, so this is equals to 3 cubed minus 2. So 3 cubed is 27, so 27 minus 2 will be positive 25. So here also we observe that f of 0 is not equals to f of 3. Well, and we can say that at x equals to 0, our function is less than 0. That means it's a negative value. So the, the curve of fx lies below y equals to 0. And for x equals to 3, since f of 3 is greater than 0, the curve of fx lies above y equals to 0. So that means the curve must pass through the line y equals to 0. And if it's passing through the line y equals to 0, that means the straight line y equals to 0 intersects the graph. Now, since we have the value of the function uh, calculated at the boundary points lying between negative 2 and 25, so what we'll do, we will suppose that let the value of m be Let's say it's 0 and this is lying between the interval negative 2 and 25. Now what we need to do is we need to find a value of c and this c must lie between the interval 0 and 3 such that f of c is equals to the value m which is equals to 0. So our f of x is given by x cubed minus 2. So f of c will be equals to c cubed minus 2. And this should be equals to 0. So that means the value of c will be equals to 2 raised to the power of 1 third. Whose value is approximately 1.2599. And clearly this value lies between the interval 0 and 3. So that means our intermediate value theorem is now proved. So which tool which tells us that there is going to be at least one value of c for which there exists a value of m lying between the interval negative 2 and 25.